of the uh, of Bishop's Gate. We also have the uh, the beginnings and the founds of the new bridge. There was a gentleman called Arthur Young who was visiting here one day. He seems to be a, a gentleman who enjoys the new fashion agriculture. And he um, he arrived here. He had to wait four hours for a ferry. Complained to the bish. And the bish said, I will fix this. So he's now building a bridge. <laughs> I have a challenger here. So, there'll be other celebrations, but that'd be the main one. Now, we're here on the quest of the, uh, of the Earl Bishop. And now, where be the Earl Bishop? Of course, he'd be gallivanting uh, on the continent. So, we be here fulfilling his orders, and he be in the continent fulfilling his own. I actually have uh, heard that. Uh, I've heard it. We'd be in prison in France. <laughs> the French have decided that he's a spy. <laughs> My heavens, if you've ever met the Earl Bishop, he more resembles a spy than the man in the moon. <laughs> However, shall we all with this, uh, this gun detail? We're to bring the cannon forward, Captain! <laughs> We really need to bring some privates here to help. <laughs> Most of our soldiery be in the Americas, in the colonies. I believe more forward, sir. Bring it right in. The get there. Get the horses in as well. <laughs> And we are charged. Today, sir, it is loaded. Let me put the horses behind. <coughs> Do you have a lighted match? Oh, you're taking it. I'm here for the sport. Well, we were taking our glass and the weather was so clement, and we thought we would have a couple of seats. But, my dear, how can we do that? He only be about his king's orders, Mom. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Valley Private, sir? Nice and warm. Find the cannon, sir. <laughs> Brian? Match? Fire, sir. Ready to fire? These gentlemen might want to move to the side. Out of the way. <laughs> no, hold Not on, an action. gentlemen. <laughs> Sir, there'll be a blast from the cannon of be wallet. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Ready to fire! One, Firing! Fire in the hole! <laughs> well done, well done. No, that should happen. No, just, in case, so just in case certain gentlemen. We'll be charging in after, just after the fire, our, our, our enemy. We will we would place musketeers either side of our cannon, and they would then take up the fire of the advancing enemy. So, would you like to demonstrate that, Captain? Of course. Uh, I'll explain the workings of the musket. This be a brown vest musket. It's the standard weapon of our army. It fires a lead ball, three quarters of an inch, roughly 11 of them to the pound. Perhaps you'd like to pass that amongst you, just the musket ball. And uh, it works by the flintlock system. This be the flint, a piece of hard, sharp stone. And when it's fired, it will fly forward and strike sparks from this part called the prison. Sparks land in here called the pan. They flare up through a small hole and ignite the main charge. At least that's what we hope it does happen. Sometimes we can get what's called a flash through the pan. Uh, but uh, uh, something of no consequence. But, uh, as you see, the musket is complete, lock, stock, and barrel. This be the lock, the wooden parts of the stock, the tube and the barrel. And, uh, it's quite safe at the minute, it's at the half cock position. It won't go off half cock. Uh, yeah, the men wish to become soldiers here. Oh, no, 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 no,